This is a robot petting zoo. The robots were made by high school participants in what we call a makeathon or a making marathon. Most of these participants have never built with cardboard, engineered a mechanism, or programmed before. This is the story of an 18 hour makeathon and the people that made it possible. Seven months ago, Alona and Sam, two of our Tech Hive interns, had an idea. What if Tech Hive ran its own hackathon? Only, what if we made it very beginner friendly? It wouldn't be a typical hackathon, so instead we wanted to create a makeathon. We tested the idea on the main floor of the Lawrence Hall of Science for a robot petting zoo, and the results were encouraging. With the help of Ming, our Tech Hive intern and fundraising guru, we raised some money. We secured a space, the Tech Hive teen interns trained seven adult mentors, and we recruited 17 teen participants. The participants were from all over the Bay Area. Now there's only one thing left to do, run the makeathon. <laughs> A computer with your other team member, we're going right through this door. The teen interns, those are the kids in the green shirts, led a series of workshops. The workshops introduced the teen participants to the tools and materials that they would be using over the next day and a half. The goal of the workshops was to build two pets, a pig who wiggled its ears when you fed it, and a bunny who dances to music. By lunch, everyone already built two practice pets. Now the participants had to design their own pet. Since it's a sidewinder, it kind of moves um, with its body forward like that. We're going to cut out joints for this so it can like fold up like you would have for paper. Here, as you said, is going to be the wheels and that's how the spider is actually going to move but to bring it to life. We're gonna have the circle that moves the legs. Be like a little motor right here where we'll have a little spout every once in a while. When you feed it any type of food, it'll go through the mouth and then it'll flap its wings. And it's gonna roll down through here. And it's gonna hit the motion sensor. And right here on his neck, we're gonna have the wheel to make his head rotate 180 degrees like an owl. This would be like the <laughs> tail, and this would be the servo, and that's how we attach it, like right here. Oh wait, now I remember, it's sideways, right? Yeah, but it's really hard to draw sideways. <laughs> We're not sure what the outcome might be by tomorrow, but I think it'll be pretty fantastic. <laughs> Oh, check it out. I'm a DJ. See? <laughs> it's, I think it's really cool that we have like this space for ourselves and then like seven hours of unfiltered making time. It's like, what time in your life do you get seven hours of play with so many toys and pick whatever you want? 
Facebook. Do you have any special strategies for getting everything done before the zoo opens? The strategy, the strategy is we finish the important parts first, and then whatever, you know, we like, I don't know, artsy stuff and like extra things that aren't needed for the actual peacock or the main attraction will come later if we have time. What do you see as the biggest challenge in making our pet work? Um, I think the biggest challenge is probably finding the right place and the right function with the motors that we're going to um, use on our snake. Sure, we can do it, but it's going to be it's going to be somewhat difficult. Okay, so let's be serious. But it's actually the harder it gets, the more fun it is. <laughs> Which is really surprising, but it is. Thank you.